Hello everyone, this is Musawir Ghafuri, the founder of Ghafuri Academy. And today it is the very first video I am uploading to this channel. This channel is mostly related to economic subjects such as finance, statistics and economics in micro level and macro level. We may have some other branches of management as well. The new topic is related to construction of frequency distribution and this construction of frequency distribution is related to statistics. What is construction of frequency distribution? Before proceeding to this topic, I want to give you information about what is statistics. Statistics is a branch of mathematics related to numerical symbols, numbers, and providing the data into very much useful manner is the way statistics works. And on the other part, frequency is very much important topic under uh, the statistics. Frequencies are the observations in a class. Suppose we are having these type of numbers in here. This 4, this 3, this 6 and continuously going on are the numbers or the observations. Suppose we are having a class interval of 363 to 372. It means between these two numericals we are having four people, four person, four observations. This is why frequency is very much important. On the other hand, we are having frequency distribution. What is frequency distribution? Frequency distribution is a table. You are looking to this table. This is a table. Frequency distribution is a table containing the class intervals. These are called as class intervals. 363 to 372, 373 to 382, and continuously going on. These are the class intervals which is very important in the topics of statistics and frequency distribution. Now coming to the construction of frequency distribution. Construction of frequency distribution is very much important. As you are looking, we are having 30 uh, schools. We can have this example for any another purposes, but in here we are having 30 uh, schools containing many kind of digits many kind of numbers. Suppose in one school you are having 423 students and another school you are having 369 students and continuously going on. Now what is the purpose of classifying this data? What is the purpose of constructing the data? The purpose is here to build this data into proper format. We should know, we should know how many people in a survey are including to any type of frequency distribution. We can find it very much well and we will get much more information by explaining it into, into the example. Now we are having these type of data. In one school 423 students, in another school we are having 369 students, in another school we are having 387 students and continuously going on we are completing the 30 schools with many kind of uh, differences in them. Now we have to construct them in a very nice format here. By doing that, we are studying construction of frequency distribution. So construction of frequency distribution, what it does, it finds the highest value of digits of numbers and the lowest one. In this interval, in this class, we are having uh, the highest number with 431 students in a school and the lowest one, 363 students in a school. Now what we do for construction of frequency distribution, we are having range. What is range? Range is the subtraction of the highest value from uh, the lowest value from the highest value. Now in here we have to subtract 363 from 431 and the result is 68. What we can do with this 68 and, at, and what it refers us? This 68 shows that the highest value and the lowest value differences between this value. It means 68 is the range. 68 is the main difference between the highest value and the lowest value. Then what we do with this 68? We are finding the class width. What is class width? Class width is <coughs> the range between each interval. Suppose in here we are having 363 to 372. How much differences? Around 10. So how we find that? With the help of class width. What is class width? We found this 68 as range. Now we divide this range for 
how many classes we want this is important and here how many classes we want the time of classes is around seven classes so this seven classes we want to have now you can see here that one class two class three four five six seven it means that the difference between the highest value and the lowest value we divide them into seven classes how we will do that we will divide the highest value uh, the difference the range we have found divided by the classes we want you can have eight classes you can have nine classes you can have ten classes it is according to you but why i chose seven classes because the selection of seven classes is giving me 9.71 which we can round off it to 10 and a class interval with differences of 10 is very much nice suppose in here we are having 363 373 383 393 they are having a differences of 10 that's why i chose 7 so 7 is giving us a good value if i would have uh, divided uh, by 9 8 10 it uh, it might give me uh, it, it might give me the classes but it may not be as 10 because 10 is very much easy to understand for all of us hence the value is becoming to 10 because it is 9.71 it could be 9.21 it could be 9.1 if it would be 9.1 9.2 9.7 as it is in here we will round off it to 10 we will round off it to the higher value of that number this is nine point so we round off it into ten we found ten now we are um, constructing our class limits because our lowest value is 363 and highest value is 431 we are constructing our class limits by putting ten so we are taking 363 373 383 393 403 413 423 and what we do as it is inclusive method in that side of this class limit we are putting 372 because 372 is included here and we are starting from 373 we are going vertically because we found that we should construct seven classes so seven classes by uh, differences of 10 we found this much and by horizontally we take less than this it is 373 we take 372 it is 383 we take 382 and continuously we are going on now after this one this is the column of tally what is tally here tally for every number we are finding from this interval from this and group data we are putting one tally here suppose we have found 40, 423 423 is in this class so we are putting only one tally the another one is 369 369 is coming to 363 to 372 between these two digits they are locating so 363 to 372 we are having one again we are continuing 387 387 is coming in this interval so we are putting one 393 393 is coming in this interval in the fourth interval and we are putting one line 371 371 is between 363 to 372 and continuously we are completing all the numbers after completing all the numbers we are getting such type of tally here and afterward every tally is counted for one so after having all the tallies here we can conclude it as four frequency here three frequency here as in here we are having three tallies six tallies we are having here when we are completing four tally the another tally will come in between of all the tallies so this is counted as five this is counted as five one two three four and five and this one is for six and the conclusion would be that all these frequencies are completed and they are counted as total of 30. why because we were having 30 uh, schools including many uh, sequences of uh, students and uh, the conclusion part is here that we are having we are having four uh, schools four uh, schools between the range of 363 to 372 the schools who are having 363 students up to 372 students are included and they are having four frequencies 
It means four schools are there. We should know, we should find the logic behind every step, behind every question, behind every answer. We should have the logic here. And this is the logic. Mm, how many schools we are having between 393 and 40, 402? Because 393 students to 402 students, we are having a range of six schools. And the way we can elaborate it in the same sense. I hope you have found this video informative and useful.